Spectrum is a social experiment that explores the diversity of perspective that exists within a shared identity. The opinions expressed by the cast are not the opinions of Google, YouTube, or Jubilee. Thanks for watching. Personally, like I've been blessed with this kind of hair, like you know. What do you mean blessed though? I know where to act appropriately. But for you're saying situation. act. That's acting. As soon as I walk in a room, like kids start crying. No! We are the change that Japanese society can make. I had never talked about any of this ever before. My name is Chippa. Duraimu. Seon. Jasmine. Arthel. Steven. I'm black in Japan. Japan is a nation rich in history and culture. Its art, music, and food are very distinct and have made their influences around the world. But did you know that until about 150 years ago, Japan had been closed to almost all foreigners for nearly two centuries. Because of colonial rule and religious reasons, the military government, known as the Tokugawa Shogunate, limited foreign ties and shut down the country's borders. In 1853, the U.S. Navy led a small expedition that strongly compelled Japan to enter trade with the West and end their isolation from the world. Today, Japan is still one of the most ethnically homogenous countries, with 98.5% of the population being Japanese. Of the remaining 1.5%, only 0.02% are black. We brought together a spectrum of black people, some are Japanese natives, while others are expats, to share their unique stories about culture, community, and the black experience in Japan. It's difficult for me to get my hair done in Japan. Three, two, one. I'm gonna go over here. Actually, your hair looks nice. Now I know where to go to to get my hair done. How do you get your hair done? Locks. <laughs> yeah. I do my own hair. Really? I also have a sensitive scalp, so I don't like people touching my hair so much. But um, I also tried experimenting with Japanese products because I'm here, why not? <laughs> and how, and how, how did that work for you? Yeah, no, it does. Uh. Um, there is a little bit of buildup, but what I do is I modify it to my taste so I'm a, I can adapt. I think the only downside that I come across is um, the maintenance part. Like, I've been blessed with this kind of hair. Like, you know, I don't have an afro. It's like a mixture between like straight hair and afro, curly. So like, I don't really have that much struggle when it comes to cutting hair. What do you hair. mean blessed though? Blessed, yeah, <laughs> blessed. What do you mean blessed, blessed. though? You mean not <laughs> I don't kinky? mean it that way. Is that, I mean by is that what you're saying? No. You got that uh, good hair? No, no, I'm not saying that, that, I'm saying. No, no, I just need you to. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying that's bad. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Like when you first come here, you don't even know where to go, right? Like there's just, there are only Japanese salons and like Japanese yeah. hair cutting places. So I went to like this one Japanese shop and like I sat there on a chair literally for eight, almost like eight hours straight. Mm -hmm. and, and all I had was like, she only did like eight corn rolls. So I mean, it was like an hour for like, <laughs> for, 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 for what's up? Japanese person? It was, she was Japanese, yes, yes. An and then, hour per And it wasn't even good. Roll. Like they were, they were so <laughs> big and so like, just like frizzy. Like when I call my friend, my family, like black folks, they're like, what's wrong with your hair? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess for me, like I just, I'm just trying to find someone that could cut the top and do the fade, right? I go to a full Japanese barber. I started going there and I told him like, yo, you know, like I need my hair to be cut like this. But he put in the time and started looking at YouTube videos himself. And I've been going there for seven years But can since. he line you up? And even he's yeah, caught can like he, the... Can he give can you the line? Yeah, I got the double line up, bro. <laughs> my name is Seon Tanaka. But I was born and raised inside of Bahamas. Honestly, after leaving Bahamas, I came to Japan not really knowing much Japanese. Just going from a place where you're comfortable with to going to a place that you're uncomfortable with, I really feel like it's important for you to keep pushing yourself forward. Going into junior high school, I got basically zeros in every class. Even with that, I was still able to get into a pretty great high school and pretty great university. And I'm now a full-time student and a part-time fashion model. I have felt pressured to use skin lightening products. 
Three, two, one. もう完全に岐阜県って田舎の田舎そう地方のところで育ったから私の兄弟以外に同じ肌の色の人を見たことがなくて常に何かしらの嫌がらせとかは受けてたからずっと私のお母さんに「なんで黒人と結婚したの?」って「なんで私をこの肌の色に産んだの?」っていうのをすごく言い続けていたしただ今は本当にすごくリスペクトししてるし自分の肌の色が大好きだしちょうど3ヶ月前ナイジェリアにしばらく行ったことがあってその時にすごいたくさんの人がブリーチを使って肌の色を白くしていたのを見た時にすごい悲しくて。私は、どうしてそれを考えていたのか。もっと大きな機会を持っていたのか。They'll call me boss right away just because of、They、like call you what? boss. Boss. Yeah, a boss, boss, please wait for a stop. No, boss, because I, I just have a light skin. So if you're light, you have more opportunities. And I think it also applies here. But personally, I've never really gone through that kind of thing.、Mm. Yeah. I knew that I looked different and、uh, I, I didn't want to look different. It was just a painful experience.、Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't know about. Skin whitening, but I wish my skin looked like everybody else.、Yeah. My mom's Japanese and my dad's black, and I'm born and raised in Yokohama, Japan. The first time I realized I was black was when I went to a Japanese school and not a single kid looked like me. I wasn't aware of what race was at the time, but I knew that my hair was curly and kinky and different, my skin color was different. And I was being bullied hardcore for it. Since I was a kid, I thought, I'm gonna be a singer no matter what. I was signed to Sony Records when I was 16 years old. And once I started collaborating with Imai Sam, my music like blew up. I hope I can make something that can bring Japanese culture and black culture together and make something cool. You know, I, hope, I hope I will try my best. I was a Japanese person, but I was a black person. あって見た目もブラックの女性なんですけど私も日本人であって日本にも私はナイジェリア生まれです私の両親は私が5歳の時に離婚をしたのでそこから私の兄弟と母で母の実家で過ごしたので見た目がブラックっていうこともあってよく外国人外国人って言われることがあったので。同年代の女の子たちや、まあ、男たち以上に自分が日本人であるってことを周りに認めてもらうために自分をそういうふうに変えなきゃいけない環境下にいたっていうのは子供ながらにやっぱりストレスがかかるような状況だったと思うしそういうふうに思わないといけない環境下に置かれる子供たちが一人でも減ればいいなって。Dating in Japan is hard for me. Three, two, one. <laughs> so, so, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> I mean, like, who are your interests in the first place? Like, who are you trying to approach? Honestly, like, really talkative people. In this country? In this country, and that's the thing. <laughs> that's why you don't、so、like I think that's where the, you know, I think that's where the mismatch is. And honestly, from my, from my experience, like, usually Japanese people want to date you know, the typical like, you know, Caucasian male. So I really struggle with that area. I, I would have to disagree with you. I have、that. to disagree with you. It is、that. separated. Like, you're going to find Japanese who only like Latins or only like blacks or only, but, but they definitely like the whole spectrum of、yeah. race. 
what I noticed, like, my black and Japanese, you know, like American and Japanese culture is so different. You know how when we see friends, we hug, hi, how have you been? And sometimes Japanese men are like, oh, she likes me? Because she touched me. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm just saying hi. For me, like, for first appearances, I'm, it doesn't seem like I'm really desirable. It's like my white oh. friends are more desirable. Oh. But uh, when I start the conversation, it's like equal playing ground. That's what I feel. <laughs> ま、基本的には日本人とデートする場合は何も問題がないし、言葉だね、の壁がない。そうそうそう。だから今言ってることは、だから文化の違いの問題、なんかが多かった。けどなんかそのもちろんその文化の違いがないから、どっちが問題、
I have a brother who's like three years older than me. Like ever since we were kids, if we're on bicycles together, if there's a police officer, 100% they will stop my brother. And I can see him changing his demeanor. He's like, oh, no, I'm a good guy. You know, I'm friendly. The code switch. I'm not that yeah. bad. And it's just, it's so heartbreaking to see someone you love be treated like that. Uh, man, I get stopped, like, all the time. Like, I, I, think, I, I think, like, I just look aggressive. All of us have gotten checked at a certain point in life, but did we think that that police would start using violence against us? No, no, no. Right? I think that... That's really a huge point that I could give the Japanese police force, but there is some concerns. I feel accepted by the Japanese community. Three, two, one. Having came here, it's not like, you know, I'm actively being pushed back in society in some way. I mean, the Japanese people that I do encounter, of course, they generally just open up, they listen first. If you don't agree with them, then you don't agree with them. I think that's just, just that simple. I've gotten this far, I think, so I don't really have too much to complain about. In my case, um, the reason why I feel like I'm still not accepted here, because mm -hmm. um, I think Japanese media plays a huge role when it comes to you know, Japanese accepting you. Um, half Japanese and half Zambian and I moved to Japan 13 years ago. And uh, the thing that surprises me the most is that many Japanese people don't really have a good image about Africa. Before, I used to be really emotional, you know, whenever I felt angry or, you know, express my you know, opinions without, like, you know, listening. So I've learned to listen to other people more. I think being a mixture of both, you know, wonderful worlds, I feel this sense of responsibility and to break down that no stereotype. And I just wish that uh, Japanese people would be more curious to find out, you know, the good side of Africa. Like in, in Japan, like I'm a big guy, right? Like in the States, like I'm not so big, but like, and then yeah, like I, I've gone to schools, like when I used to teach English and like as soon as I walk in a room, like kids start crying. Like, crying? Like, like How did that make you feel? I felt bad for the children oh, like i felt yeah. i felt like oh man like did i do something wrong and yeah. which is and, I, and then so i had to yeah. adjust so my well. presence right like adjust <laughs> my presence so that and so even even in in america like when i go home now everyone says i don't act american they're like mm. dude like, like you act japanese i was born and raised in japan my whole life so my mannerisms is kind of like pretty japanese like for example if my american friends that are black if they sit on the train nobody Literally, pack train. Nobody will sit next to them. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like because I know the mannerisms or how to act or how to make myself small, um, mm -hmm. I'm accepted more. More approachable, maybe. More fit in. My language is different, too. In Japanese, I'm a lot nicer. Yeah. In English, I'm like, yo, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of adopt those same techniques. You want to kind of blending somehow yeah you said on the train like you know you make yourself small yeah. in some cases i like you know read a book for example because that makes it more approachable yeah. so like now you're fitting into being quiet japan first thing they teach you shiska shh don't talk don't talk but if you stop and look do they really feel this with all the suicide rate if you hold back your everything you're feeling and you have nobody to share it to, what does the Japanese do? Well, but Steve, Steve, you gotta, you gotta understand though. At the same time, the reason why I think, I, un I understand why Aisha is like this, right? Yeah. Is because we're half. We have a part of us yeah, that cultures. still has to feel like we have to conform in some why? way. Because we're still half. We're a part of this country well, two as well. cultures. Okay. It's a part of the culture. At least understand where our culture is from. Maybe I'm getting it wrong, that you have to be like this here and you have to be like this here. Yeah. I do it as my first foot in too, because this is, they're, they're not familiar with, with like a black female American, right? So it's my foot to like uh, introduce myself or to talk to them like kind of like shy or just like very, mm, what's the word, apprehensively, because that's what they're used to from Japanese people. So, so then after they get to know me, I know where to act appropriately but for your situation. But you're saying act. Well, yeah, yeah, we're acting. You're yeah. saying act. Everybody's saying act. Yeah, yeah. That's acting. 
No, it's not a bad thing. But I don't think that we are acting. Yeah, we're not acting. Much. It's just two different cultures. But it's very American to be like, this is not good. <laughs> it should be more this way. It should be more. Japanese people enjoy this way. How many? And they feel comfortable in this way. This is the culture. I will live in Japan for the rest of my life. Three, two, one. I think as a Westerner coming to Japan, we know we can easily see the opportunities and we jump on them because I have a different mindset. So will I stay in Japan? I'm not really sure, but I like what I'm doing and I see so much opportunity here. There's so many voids that I can fill. I think a lot of Japanese people have an idea of what black men are like, but black women are not seen as much. And so when I see my other black foreigner friends here, all of us have a very similar experience. It seems more freeing for us as black women compared to black men. <laughs> so I just hope things kind of stay the same, but I know what they, were. they won't. I just don't feel Japan as a society is a good place to like, you know, raise up your kids. Why is that? We're coming from Africa, like, you no, know, sometimes we don't even have, like, you no, know, the best opportunities. But in Japan, they're just, like, flooded, like, with so much opportunity and, like, so much, like, you know, but they, and they take that for granted. I mean, for me, it just depends on career, I guess. Like, I mean, if something takes off and, like, my best opportunity is just to stay in Japan, of course I'll take it. You know, it's not like I want to leave the place. Right now, I'm happy. I'm doing what I like. I live alone. So sometimes it's lonely, but besides that, um, I'm happy here. I have a lot of great friends, but to stay here forever, I don't know. Entertainment, ってなった時にさっきお話ししたみたいにみまだ日本じゃ機会が少なくて与えた方が思ってるからこそ今は日本にいるべきじゃない時だから今ここに立ってるかな。うん。えっと。アイシャはずっと小さい頃から大人になるまでずっと日本に住んでて I had some great experiences working in Japan and you know I'm so thankful for it but I wonder what it's like living in America I wonder what it's like to walk down the street and not have everybody stare at me and see people that look like me and talk like me you know so as a YouTuber, I get the same questions over and over and over, especially from an American audience. What is it like uh, being black in this country? Uh, what is the racism like? Or do you experience racism? And I think our blackness hasn't really uh, interfered much or hasn't gotten in the way of opportunities. But it's really difficult explaining this to my family, to my friends, to my subscribers, because they get angry, saying, like, racism does exist, and they try to fight me. So I think that's an interesting point. Part of me have the same feeling that like, yeah, once we're here, yeah, we're not experiencing the, the vitriol and, and like color doesn't really matter. Like we're, we're so we, we get to exist as a, in, in our space that we chose to, and then we get to just do that and focus on that. But we also have to remember that it, that we are kind of like the exceptions to the rule, right? And so the rest of, the, of America and like black America who, who've probably never even left their state, who may never even leave their city. So we, we have to kind of, have empathy, I guess, right? And then, and then be able to ex, ex, explain to them what our experiences are, because that was where we were. And so we have to be able to revert back to our former selves to then be able to get them to be where we are, right? I had never talked about any of this ever before. It made me realize that I wasn't alone in my experience and that lots of other people were going through similar things. We're all in love with this country that we live in and all of us have found our own way. I learned a lot coming here today, which is really interesting. For a while now, I've actually felt a bit lost. I'm really grateful that I managed to meet these other people. I think this was a really important step in my journey to find out who I am. すること。で、やっぱり子供たちに希望を与えていきたいっていうのが私の目標であり夢なので、今は女優業を通じて、あの次の世代の子供たちにいろんな夢を与えたいなって思います。
I want black people in Japan to really know specifically that a lot of things that you think might be holding you back, you should challenge. It's important for you to keep pushing yourself to get to where you would want to get. Hearing just the varying opinions was really rewarding. I want to see more diversity in Japan, and I would love to stay in Japan and help be that positive change, especially for black women. People need a conversation, because without a conversation, nothing changes. I learned a lot from some amazing people. And this group, wow, <laughs> you guys touched my heart. With our minds open and our eyes looking forward, we can focus on a lot of things that need to be changed. It's sad to say what I'm going to say. We don't matter right now. Yeah, they actually said the N-word. I made the post about blackface. They canceled me hard, dropped me like a hot potato. People think that every black woman is good at sex. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Hey.